Okay, so last week and yesterday we reviewed how to solve systems by graphing. Today we're going to look at substitution. There's three ways that we solve systems in this class. So the first one was graphing, the second one we're going to look at a substitution, and then at the end of this week we're going to look at elimination. Okay, so there's three different ways. So if I look at substitution, if I'm going to substitute something, that means that I'm going to replace, very good, replace one thing with something else, right? That's what the definition of substituting is. So I'm replacing some one thing with something else. And so when I'm talking about a system of equations, that tells me that I'm replacing one of my equations with a different equation, or one of my variables with a different variable. Okay? And just, just didn't erase very well. Okay, so if I look at example 1a, I'm given the system y equals 2x and y equals x plus 5. And so if I'm going to solve by substitution, then that means that I'm going to take something and replace something else with it. In my second equation, if I look at my second equation, I can see that y is equal to this x plus 5. So I'm going to take this x plus 5 and I'm going to replace y with that in my first equation. So I'm going to have no more y's. So I'm going to have x plus 5 is equal to 2x. I replaced my y's with x plus 5. So this is like a 1x. And how do I get rid of a positive 1x? Minus 1x. Minus 1x. So 5. 1x. 2 minus 1 is 1. And I divide by what? By 1. So x equals 5. Okay, so now I have my x. I'm going to do my second substitution. So you always have two substitutions in these. So my second substitution is I'm going to take 5, and I'm going to replace x with it in my second equation. Very good. So y equals 5 plus 5, and 5 plus 5, as Tana said, is 10. So y equals 10. So x equals 5, no, and y equals 10. That's it. Okay, so let's look at number, or example 1b. I'm given the system 2x plus y equals 5 and y equals x minus 4. So I'm going to take what y equals, which is x minus 4, and I'm going to replace the y in my top equation with that. So I end up with 2x plus, I no longer have any y's, y becomes x minus 4 equals 5. Now this looks more complicated, but we're going to simplify it. That's like a 1x, and if I combine my like terms, 2x plus 1x is 3x. So 3x minus 4 equals 5. Now what do I do? Plus 4. So what does 3x equal? 9. So divide by 3. So x equals 3. Now that I have that 3, I need to do my second substitution. And remember, your second substitution goes into your second equation. So I'm going to take that 3, and I'm going to sub it into what I boxed, my second equation, for x. So then y equals 3 minus 4. And what is 3 minus 4? Negative 1. Very good. So 
x would equal 3 and y would equal negative 1. For all of these systems, you're going to get a solution for x and you're going to get a solution for y. You have to get both. Let's do a few more. So I'm check it out 1a. I'm given y equals x plus 3 and y equals 2x plus 5. So what am I going to substitute? My top equation or my bottom equation? My bottom equation. Okay, so I'm going to take 2x plus 5, and what am I going to put it in for? The y. The y at the top. Very good. So if I do that, what does my equation look like, Niles? Okay, which is? There you go. So 2x plus 5 equals x plus 3. And this is like a 1x. So do you want to move the 2x or the 1x? 1x? How do I get it to be positive 1x? There you go. We're going to subtract 1x. What's 2x minus 1x? 1x. All right, Ethan, what's going to be my next step? Minus 5. So that gives me 1x equals negative 2. How do I finish solving this? Alright, so x equals negative 2. So Kyle, where does my second substitution go? Okay. So far, what's my equation going to look like if I plug in negative 2 for x? The whole equation. y equals... 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 5. Fawn, what's negative 4 plus 5? So y equals 1. So x equals negative 2, and y equals 1. All right, let's do one more. Do you want to do this one or this one? We're doing one more. This one? Okay. So... 4y minus 5x equals 9, and x minus 4y equals 11. We're always looking for something that's either x equals or y equals. Do we have something that is either just x equals or just y equals? No, so we have to get something that looks like that. So I'm going to take my second equation, x minus 4y equals 11. Do you want to solve that for x or for y? For y, okay. Other than, do I get rid of a positive 1x? Subtract 1x. So, minus 4y equals, can I combine an 11 and a 1x? No. So, this just becomes 11 minus 1x. So, now what's my next step? Divide. So, I'm going to divide by negative 4. Now, I know that I can't divide 11 by 4. I won't get it evenly. So this just stays 11 over negative 4. A negative divided by negative becomes a positive, and I can't divide 1 by 4, so this just becomes 1 over 4x. Solving for x would have been easier. But it's okay. Alright, so this is my equation for y. So now that I know what y equals, where am I going to plug that into? We get to the top equation, y. So I get 4, because I have a 4y. Four number 2 first. Now I'm supposed to do number 1 first. 
plus one. Oh, the equation numbers. I'm so sorry. I'm like, why did we not do number one first? That makes no sense. Yeah, you can, well, you can do either one. It doesn't matter. But usually I just pick the second one. Sorry, I'm probably, I was really confused for a second. Not confused anymore. Okay. So if I plug that whole thing in for y, I still have the 4. This becomes my new y. I still have my minus 5x, and I still have equals 9. And so we distribute. 4 times 11 over negative 4, these cancel. And I end up with negative 11. 4 times 1 over 4, these cancel. And I end up with 1x. Minus 5x equals 9. What do I do next? Okay, so you want to get rid of the 11? Will you get rid of the 11 first? How do I get rid of a minus 11? Add 11. So I get 1x minus 5x equals what's 9 plus 11? 20. 20. 9 plus 11 is 20. There you go. You combine your like terms. 1 minus 5 is negative 4, so negative 4x equals 20. So x equals negative 5. Okay. Now, we're going to plug, I should have just picked x, we're going to plug that in for x in my top equation. Okay, I'm using the one in black because that's the one I didn't change. Okay, that was your original. So negative 5 minus 4y equals 11. How do I get rid of this minus 5? Plus 5. So y equals negative 4. So x equals negative 5, y equals negative 4. So if well, we should have probably solved for x. There's a client picked for y, so we solved for y. But when you don't have one that's just x equals or just y equals, you have to solve it for one. Pick the one that doesn't have a number in front of it, if possible. So, like... Because I don't need it right now. So I had x, shut it off, that was called x minus 4y equals 11. So since this doesn't have a y, either a y equals or an x equals, I can't substitute. You can only substitute if one of the variables is by itself. So I need to make one of them by itself. Now we did, we made y be by itself down here, but it looks really complicated. Instead, if I want to make x be by itself, since there's no number in front of it, all I need to do is get rid of the minus 4y. So then if I add 4y, so x would have equaled 11, no, nope, you're right, 11, plus 4y, which looks a lot easier than that, right? Mm-hmm. Or you'll still be the same. Yeah, you'll still get the same numbers either way. It's just sometimes it's easier. Right? Because then you're not dealing with fractions. Okay. So are you feeling pretty good? Okay. I want you guys to start it. Hmm? But you can't combine an 11 and a 4 way. Okay. So I want you guys to get started and then ask me questions as we go. So page 340, 1 through 16.